women often focus on beauty from the chin up. The face is like the first thing you see and there's more like areas and it draws more attention than your neck. And so I feel like most women would pay more attention to their face rather than their neck because that's what people see. The neck is neglected while the face gets all the pampering. Women care a lot more about their appearance, you know, um, I guess everything, the wrinkles, everything. The neck takes a beating through the years and often doesn't get the beauty boost it deserves. Experts say it is the thinnest skin on the body, leaving the neck vulnerable to spots, wrinkles, rolls, and loose skin that often become more noticeable in the mid-30s. Women will often start taking better care of their face by using sunscreens and really advanced moisturizers and maybe getting uh, the injectable neuromodulators like Botox or the injectable fillers that are on the market. And then all of a sudden, comparatively, their neck and their hands look bad. Dr. Mary Lupo, a dermatologist, says after seeing that stark difference, women often want to get proactive and provide their neck with a little more TLC. Too much sun exposure is the biggest culprit to neck aging, so Lupo says lather up with sunscreen early and often. Bring your anti-aging face routine down below the chin. Those products will work on the neck area too. But Lupo says if the aging is too advanced, it may require in-office non-surgical treatment options, including Botox injections into the neck muscle. I will use very strategically placed Botox into that platysma muscle to relax it so that it's not pulling the jawline down and causing further sagging. And the other thing we do is we augment the jawline which helps to increase the volume in the jawline and that actually helps pull the neck up a little bit. Remember, your neck has really stretchy skin, so doctors say to look at it like this. When you're young, uh, the skin acts kind of like this, a, a rubber band. You stretch it out, it pops right back. But as you get a little bit older, it acts more like this string, this shoelace. You stretch it out, it just kind of sags down in bows. But there's one way to prevent that. It's with your weight. Don't let your weight go up and down. Just try to keep it constant. People that maintain their weight their entire life end up with a nice neckline their entire life. People that gain and lose tend to stretch that skin. Dr. Stephen Finical, a plastic surgeon in Charlotte, North Carolina, says maintaining a steady, healthy weight will help prevent fat storage in the neck area. But if that happens, there is a surgical fix liposuction. The neck is a good fat storage compartment. It's a natural fat storage compartment. So sometimes liposuction is all people need to take away the fat when that's overfilled. There are less invasive, less aggressive ways to achieve a younger looking neck. Laser treatment is one. Others involve some of the newest devices like the Thermi RF skin tightener being used to reshape the body. All of it may be helpful in helping you leave the turtlenecks behind and say hello to a prettier new neck. For the Plastic Surgery Channel, I'm Dawn Tongish.